Welcome back. Well, this is another episode of the Hollywood Kitbacks Podcast. I'm your co-host with the co-most, Alex Millers. Join with me, as always, is Will Lopez. Will, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good, and pretty bad, pretty bad at the same time. <laughs> pretty good. Well, we, we woke up and we got together. Why? We're podcasting. Why did I wake up for this stuff? <laughs> why did we wake up for this? That's, I, that's a good question. I'm still trying to find the reasons why. But we are in person, live. Okay. And also join with us is the prodigal Kiss, son. The prodigal son. Yeah. Kiss, how are you doing? Uh, I, I'm sleepy. Pick up your fucking mic, you fool. No, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, sleepy head. Right. <laughs> uh, so we got together this morning for our live stream of the Liverpool match at home. Yep. Uh, a lot of hype going on in this game. We are th- uh, two or three followers away from 500 followers. Yeah. Make sure to follow us ac- on uh, IG and across all of our socials. Uh, we got an OBS template now. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Very, and very nice. we were streaming on YouTube. Uh, well, there were some technical difficulties with that, but always looking to improve. It's always a learning curve when we do these kinds of things. Yes, sir. But, um, but the game itself, uh, man, oh, man, this was not a good game. Well, first, let's start off with the 4.30 a.m. kickoff. Yeah. <laughs> Man City versus Liverpool at 12 o'clock kickoff. That should not happen. That should always be a marquee primetime matchup. You know what I mean? We should not be waking up at 4.30 for this. Yeah. I can ex- I can understand like waking up at 4.30 for, like, Bournemouth or Luton Town or something. But, like, this game being at 4.30 in the morning was awful. Um... So, yeah, right off the bat, that was good. But, you know, like, we – I was predicting this game to be, like, a 2-1. So, it was going to be a tough match. It, it was going to be, you know, hard fought. But City was going to come out on top. But that was not to be seen. And there was uh, quite a few things that added up to the whole, really. Um, so, we can look at some of the highlights, though. So, uh, for those that didn't watch the game – uh, Halon scored in the 27th minute, yeah. making it 1-0. And then it was 1-0 for a majority part of the game up until Trent Alexander-Arnold scored. In the second half. In the second half, during the second half. And the game was 1-1. And then they added eight minutes of stoppage time at the end. That was weird. That was weird. And uh, But the game finished 1-1, so each Liverpool and City walk away with a point. But uh, considering that this is still early in the weekend, that will could set up Arsenal to climb atop the league because they play <clears throat> Brentford later on uh, this morning at noon. Yeah. So, uh, Will, what were your thoughts about this game? Man, I haven't said this in a while, but today was Sunday League Soccer, dude. Today was Sunday League Soccer. Um, the reason I say that is that we were not prepared. Well, it didn't seem like we were prepared. Uh, you could have told me that Liverpool was in seventh place, and I would have believed you due to this match. But knowing that they were in second place, a point behind us, we needed a lot more game today, dude. And by game, I mean, like, we needed a better plan against Liverpool today because starting at 11 was a little funny, and the bench was even worse than that. We had no offense available other than Oscar Bob on the bench. So, man, Jack Grealish, nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen, yeah. Anywhere on the bench or news or media or nothing. We know nothing of him yeah. right now. You know what I mean? So, there are a few injuries to be said. Uh, Kovacic and Nunez are, are injured. Mm-hmm. Um, they missed the international break. Um, Grealish is nowhere to be seen. I'm not sure if he's injured. Stones is injured. So... We do have a lot of critical injuries in this lineup in this lineup so far. Mm-hmm. So this this was just an interesting game for Pep to have experimented with the lineup. Uh, the most notable part of this experiment today was that he was uh, using a kanji as a double pivot. Mm-hmm. So instead of having playing Kanji on the left or at the center, he pushed him up and was acting as a double pivot with Rodri. Yeah. So they were playing in a, a three-two-four-one shape, yeah. throwing everyone forward, and then having Rodri and um, uh, a Kanji being a double pivot. Which I just have never seen a Kanji act as a double pivot, and I just don't think he lived up to the role that Stones typically plays in that position. Yeah. Inverts and 
really uh, pushes the ball forward and moves the lineup forward. I just did not see anything like that from Akanji. So I just don't think that that was a experiment that was well worth the, the try, I guess. Well, it did work the last two weeks. It did work with him playing because he scored in the last two games. Remember when he got a... Uh... He got the red card and he came back. Yeah. And as soon as he came back, he scored a goal and then uh, he scored against Chelsea also. And I, th- I, I mean, we expect the same res. We get, we expect the the same quality with the different recipe, and it didn't work. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's not like it was a, the same recipe, but like, I mean, that was probably that starting eleven was probably our best starting eleven. But like, we had no options on the bench because we had all injuries. And then we had all def- uh, like defensive options, so like Pep didn't make any substitutions, mm-hmm. and he was just threw them out there for ninety minutes. And like this was a team that could play ninety minutes and get a goal at some point, but that just could not find goal mm-hmm. uh, today. And just looking at the options, there was just no real defensive, no real good attacking options. So yeah, this was this was an interesting experiment to have by Pep at this game. Even that was even what we discussed about on Tuesday too, because uh George Aldapa from Bit of Banter and I got together on Tuesday. Oh, that's night, right. The Danny Bruin Company. We did a little live episode uh at the um at the uh Danny Bruin. About D- Danny Bruin, yeah. And then uh we were talking with a city fan from Dublin. I'm forgetting the the, the tag, the plug, but um he was saying that this was gonna be a game where Pep was gonna tinker with the lineup. And it was not a full-on tinker, but it was it it was tinkered. You know what I mean? We noticed. Yeah, we noticed. Yeah, I would have preferred to, for them to play in a four-two-three-one shape, mm-hmm. and then have a uh, silver on the wing, uh, Foden playing more centrally, and then maybe um, you know just someone. But like I think that because we didn't have Kovacic or Nunez, that uh, Pep abandoned that four-two-three-one shape, mm-hmm. but we went to a three-two-four-one shape. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and but just like that was just the start of the things, right? But like I, I'm gonna just highlight specific point uh, performances and let me know what you think about that. But like right. I think the first person that that had a, an an egg of a game was Alvarez. Oh my God, Alvarez had at least two. What would, you, what would you call them? Sitters? I guess sitters. So like just angle. He had really good shots, really good angles on goal. Just didn't angle his foot right and missed goal twice. He's mm-hmm. been doing that a lot lately. I think he's just a set piece specialist. That's it. You think so? Yeah, because, I mean, the guy likes to shoot, but god damn, these were like horrible shots. Like straight the hell up. Yeah, it was like just a wrong angle to the foot and just went wide or above, you know, and... <sighs> I mean, like, how can you even really say Alvarez is a happy specialist because of this game? Like, just, he had nothing. He was not finding goal. At, you know, you guess you have one of those games. But, like, I mean, just the two missed chances is enough for me to, to really, you know, call him out as, uh, you know, uh, one of the reasons why we, we, we couldn't get the, the result today. Yeah. You know. Um, Another uh, ingredient in this uh, frustrating cake was Jeremy Doku. Yeah. Holy that crap. That was frustrating. Holy crap. We're talking about two of the best players that in this month had the shittiest game today, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, what the hell's going on? And I think, like I tell you, uh, a lot of these players, they do their homework, brother. And I think the the homework on Jeremy Doku was so easy that now they know him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when, especially when uh, on Instagram and, and YouTube and everything, they're saying this is his special move. Check out. This is the signature move. Everybody knows it now. Yeah. Everybody knows it. The and cut, the juke. Yeah. Know, it's just like his one thing. And now it, it, it's like, dude, hey, Pep, put this guy on training and make him do something else, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to teach him You got to teach him something else because this is not – it didn't work today, dude. It just did not work today. He's like Austin Reeves with the pump fake. Oh, here we go. We got uh, Ifkis with the <laughs> with the <laughs> with the if basketball reference. If you're playing uh, Hollywood Kickbacks Bingo with us, this yeah. is time to take a sip because yes. of the NBA reference. Also, uh, yeah, I'm getting my problems, but uh, yeah, how much do you think the break, the international break, was part of this blame pie? 
do we blame the international no, break for this? No, you can't blame the international break at all. If anything, it should have worked in their favor. Because a lot of these guys had success in the international break. A lot of these guys had success in the international break. A and, a, and a lot of players were injured going into the international break. So they yeah. should have had this time to recuperate. But um, Kovacic and Nunez, I think they were both injured going into the international break. And I'm not sure what the status of their injuries are. But they should have been able to. Uh, recuperate right now if it wasn't made serious if it, if it was serious it would have been made known about it by now you know what I mean like that Halan was, yeah and it wasn't serious he played today yeah and he scored come on yeah. man you know what I mean the 50th goal today. yeah oh and by the way today was uh, Erling Halan's 50th goal in the Premier League in 48 games dude yeah so, just so congratulations to Erling Halan dude yeah so um, yeah I mean Alvarez and Doku were players that stood out um, that weren't having a, having a nightmare of a game. Um, you know, like, one frustrating thing is one person that I had empathy for was Rodri. Yeah. And that it just looked like Rodri was not getting service either. Like, we like you need to get the ball of Rodri in the billet play. Yeah. Like, there's no excuse for that. Rodri is the reason why we win games. You yeah. Know what I mean? And that's also another stat. Rodri is still undefeated in 30 games of all of his starts. In the last 30 starts, he is undefeated mm. because he played. But this is a draw, but still undefeated, right? Yeah. But, like, Rodri is one of the, our, is, is the biggest part of why we win. Without Rodri, we lose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Rodri is the one that gives the ball and moves the ball forward. But, like, a and that double pivot just made things awkward, and he wasn't getting served. And so Rodri wasn't getting service. Yeah. And it's like... He so Roger kind of distributed the ball the way he typically does, and the reason why that we win so frequently, you know what I mean? So it's just that this game, this probably one of the downsides of this experiment was that Rodri didn't get the ball as much. And you know we're experimenting when Nathan Ake is assisting goddamn Erling Haaland, dude. For real, for real. <laughs> but what you, the hell? but you know that I always live for an Ake yes. diving header. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. So, um, so you love to see it. You'll when, take an assist. I'll take an assist. I'll take I if <laughs> Ake. Has multiple goal involvements. I'll take that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, this this was a frustrating game. And uh, we were vibing with the Pep on the sideline. with the He was in the frustration crouch. All the signature moves today. Yeah, he pulled out all the signature moves. <laughs> the signature moves being the frustration crouch, yep. the mingled water bottle, uh, the dry spit. The, the dry spit at the tip of his mouth, yep. Yeah, and then... Um, he was missing the turtleneck. He was missing turtle. the turtleneck. Yeah, yes. he was wearing the he was wearing the bulky jumper. Yeah, the bulky uh, bench jacket. I mean, jacket. you can feel his frustration. You know what I mean? I I was telling you, it felt like we just had no no drive today, dude. Like even when when we had three three on one, there was no pressure. We were just floating around the Liverpool players, dude. Like why weren't we playing as dirty as them? We're at home. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like what the hell? Yeah. But I don't know, man. Today was just, I mean, we didn't lose, but in these dire times when it comes to points and Liverpool being in second place, we can't be fucking around like this, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, one in the post-game IG Live, we, we do a post-game with some interviews with some fans. Um, and one City fan mentioned this in the chat that because uh, we were asked the question, where was Grealish? And the question that it, his response to the question was that Grealish is not the kind of person you want to play in these high pace, high speed games because yeah. um, he slows the tempo down or something like that. And mm -hmm. but I and I was saying that that's actually the reason why you need him because you need him to slow down the tempo, right? Mm -hmm. If like Jurgen Klopp's playing this high, like high volume, high attack, gig and press style that he's known for. Yeah. You need him you need Grealish to attract the foul to slow the game down and so that we can get our set pieces and work our um chances, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like Grealish not being there is a little bit like kind of frustrating because like I don't know if he's injured or not, what what where why he was or why he was excluded from the lineup. But you know, and like that just we had this conversation too on the previous podcast about uh why don't the Doku or Grealish, like, who do you start, really? You know yeah. what I mean? Maybe we actually had that conversation. Because I think we had that conversation on Tuesday night. Uh -huh. But, like, who would you rather have start, for the most part, in a starting, in a starting line, with Doku or Grealish? Uh, man, it all depends, dog. But, like I'm saying, like, today, I would have loved if Jack Grealish started and then throw in Doku when everyone's tired so he can do all that agility move and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, Jack Grealish does center the ball. 
he does fucking cut in and look for the shot. And today it was just, it, it, it's because you don't know Jack Grealish. He's he's everywhere. He's all over. And Jeremy Doku is just a, I hate to say it, but maybe this is very, very um, critical to say, but today was like more of a one-trick pony thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to cut in, shoot the fucking ball, dude. Yeah. Especially when you cut in, one, two, three steps, boom, take your shot. But today was like he was confused. He didn't know whether to center the ball, whether to pass in the middle, or where to take a shot. It's like, dude, what happened to that confidence? What happened to the confidence that you had earlier this month? Today, he just looked lost. And you can tell the frustration. He he was getting frustrated with this game, too. So it was like, oh, man, I, 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 I don't know, man. It, it, usually we usually what last game we played uh, Jeremy Doku and Jack Grealish at the same time. Yeah. My thing is where the fuck is Jack Grealish? Yeah. I want to know what happened. You yeah. know what I mean? But no subs today, dude. No subs. No subs. And we did have one offensive player. You know what I mean? And we could have played Oscar Bob. My thing would have been switch uh, Bernardo Silva. With Phil Foden, because Phil Foden does way better in the middle. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's good at the winger at the top right, but I prefer him in the middle, because then he works with Erling Haaland. Yeah. And then Bernardo Silva also works good in the right wing, because that's when he starts driving in and using the left. He was in the left, left middle, and you're a left-footed player. Like, why would you do that? We need goals, because mm -hmm. you're not giving me no plays, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like today, who was the who was the playmaker today? Exactly. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody was. today. Raji would typically would be, but then but Raji they weren't giving him the ball. ball. Weren't giving the ball, so he couldn't do the do the playmaking. Um, I just think a lot of the chances were frustrate. Uh, were a lot of the shots that we took in this game were very frustrating. Um, just very low quality shots. Like, I, I remember just, like, in the last, like, maybe 10 minutes of the game, Doku took a shot, and I just was like, oh, my God, dude, that was an absolute shitty shot yeah, yeah. that he took. Um, Sunday one, league. One thing, one but the, this is the Sunday league bit here, because, like, like, in the second half, they just weren't pressing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they just, like... No after, urgency. No urgency. They didn't, they didn't like... Because typically, City play with the press. Like, when, when the ball is on, like, they have, like, two or three players on that guy. So, yeah. it's like... They're always they're always pressing. There was no press in that second half. Like I remember, like there was one point when the ball was just in the Liverpool half, and like they just all retreated back to just like play defense. Like, are you kidding me? You're not gonna press them like that. That was so out of character for City. I think that that was just like that. That was what the Sunday League element comment would come for me. It's like, dude, you guys just like didn't want to press. You guys just like retreated back so you guys could just like just play defense like no there's no press in that second half it was just it's it's such an out of character performance and it shows after that Trent Alexander fucking goal yeah too easy dude nobody got in the fucking way it was just like everybody spread open hey go ahead take the goal that was a great counter too just a great the, the whole bill up play to that was just a great counter i mean if if we want to talk about effort or something of of defensive plays with uh some kind of aggressiveness we would have at least got one yellow that shows me that you're trying but no cards no subs no fucking plays no nothing what the hell like we're this is not how we're supposed to be playing at this time especially when we have the champions league on fucking wednesday dude yeah what are, what are we gonna do then you know what I mean? What are we going to fucking do then? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're already out of the group. Yeah. Uh, so, like, yeah, you know, I guess it's, you're right. it's not, like, super, uh, like, you know. Critical, yeah. Critical, you know what I mean? We're already out of the group. But, like, yeah. we really got to regroup. We really got to get all the people back from injury. We got, you know, um, you know, KDB is probably not too back till the beginning till next, of next year. year. You yeah. know what I mean? And so, like, we really got to regroup at, around this new year. And we also have the Club World Cup coming up too. And I do want that Club World Cup badge on my yeah, on my too. kit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, we we there's a lot uh, moving forward. So, any final thoughts on this game before we move on to schedules and? Uh, Pep, you got to do something in that training ground, dude, because. This is not and, and enough with the fucking goddamn international breaks. I'm tired of that shit. We don't already. get an international <laughs> break for another four months. Thank you. So you can all right. Good, 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 good. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. Yeah. Enough of these uh, Euro qualifiers. But um, so taking a look at City's schedule, 
Uh, we do play next Tuesday uh, versus RB Leipzig. This is still the group stage and City is through, but they are playing, I believe, away. No, at home uh, against RB Leipzig. So, And when we do cover our predictions on Monday for that uh, for that game, or uh, what are we doing on Monday? Are we going oh, to no. podcast on Monday? <laughs> or I think after. Either way, we're going to have Shades of Blue. Shades of Blues on the podcast to talk about that game, either after or before. Okay. Well, shout out Shades of Blue. Yeah, shout out Shades um, of Blue. Shout out to uh, Crunk Chocolate. Yeah, Crunk from, uh, from there. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so we're going to have them on the podcast yes. uh, to discuss that result. Uh, and then next Sunday is uh, Man Series Tottenham at home. That is gonna, that's going to be an interesting game. Oh, Cameron. Yeah. He's coming in. Should he? Yeah, uh, is he? Uh, well, the thing is, though, is that I'm going to be in San Francisco. Oh, that's right. So, the, the Trophy Treble. The Trophy Treble. And the Trophy, the Treble. How the fuck am I saying, The dude? Treble Trophies. Tour. Yes. Yes. So the Treble Trophies will be in San Francisco, and I'm going. Nice. And uh, doing a quick overnight trip to San Francisco to see the Treble Trophies. Um I will most likely be seeing the trophies with the Orange County supporters because there's two other Orange County supporters uh, from my former supporters club. This kind of still, but man, I, I just am in LA now. But uh-huh. uh, they're going to be there's the, every all the California clubs, I believe, for the most part, yeah. have a, a time slot to see the treble trophies. Mm-hmm. So I still haven't been notified of a time yet. So I will be doing that, and also there on the ground doing some Hollywood kickback stuff, interviewing other fans as well. So um, we're you're gonna see some history, dude. Our very first Champions League Cup. You're going to see that in person. Yeah. I, How awesome. I, you know, when I first heard about the announcement, I kind of didn't, I wasn't going to go. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's going to be San Francisco. And I don't want to, I don't want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think we got talking in the chat and I was like, you know what? Gotta go. I gotta go. So, um, I found a flight. I got, I got a, uh, I got like a $132 round trip flight from LAX to San Francisco. Nice. Uh, I'm leaving like six o'clock in the morning on Saturday. So you're going over there and coming back the same day. No, I'm going back and coming back Sunday night. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, so I'll just be there over for one night and then, um, queuing up for the cello trophy. See, uh, you know, just to make sure I, you know, see it, you know, solo mission or are you taking the bird with you? Uh, no, she unfortunately can't go. She has a retirement party. To oh, attend. nice. So, um, All right. so I'll be, um, I'll be there on my, on my own, but doing, uh, content for us and Beautiful. seeing history as well. Yes. So for excited for you, dude. Excited yeah, for you. So, uh, yeah, so that's, that's on the card for next weekend, but we could talk a little bit more about the Man City versus Tottenham game. So, okay. uh, you know, the Leipzig game. You know, we're already through, so, I, you know, don't want to belabor the point of, yeah. you know, who we're going to play and the prediction-wise. But Man City versus Tottenham is, is always a good game, and this uh, pertains to my family because my brother Cameron and my uncle are Tottenham fans. Brother Cameron. This, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is the Millage Derby. You know what I mean? Man City versus Tottenham. It comes t- t- two times a year, two times a season, uh-huh. and this is at the Etihad, and we typically win this game, but – the statistic still remains that we have not scored at Tottenham's new stadium. So you're going to be in San Fran during that game. Yeah, I'll be oh, watching okay. it with the. They're, okay. they're having a mass viewing at uh, was it whatever pier pier or something. Huh. Yeah. Maybe we still podcast and then we get you in just to see what's cracking. Yeah, I could be. Uh, oh. What's it live? Me and you the... do a reaction, and then we do it with him on the on the Instagram live while he's over there. Yeah, which would be even better content. At the lab. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we do it at the lab too. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So we'll still be we'll still be hanging out. All right, yeah, I mean, you guys can do it. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I'm not gonna say you can't. We'll still have you there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be on assignment. Yeah, there you go. Oh. There you go. You'll be reporting live. Yeah, reporting live. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, what was that? What was that? Kiss? Yeah, yeah, I can't hear that one time. Right. <laughs> Fuck up. Fuck up. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, but yeah, but this game, Man City time. So, uh, what adjustments do we make going into this game? We need a lot. Because Tottenham ain't fucking around, dude. Yeah. Tottenham is not fucking around. And are we home or? We're home, yeah. Oh, okay. Man, this... we, we need the boys back, dude. 
We need Jack Grealish back too. Yeah, we need Jack. We, Grealish we back. have a lot to fucking. Okay, you open up the conversation because first of all, what do we need to do to win Tottenham and keep the top of the fucking league? Okay. To the game. So well, I think we definitely whoever is not critically injured needs to come back. So Kovacic, Nunez, uh, Grealish. Um, I'm not sure the extent of Stones' injuries and how long he's going to be out for. I think he was on the bench today. Uh, he could, could be coming back soon. You know, I just these 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 injury situations are ever changing. Sometimes they give a, a very uh, negative projection, but then they come back. Yeah. You know, soon. So I'd rather see that than to have it be. Oh, it's fine. And then turn out to be a two month thing. You know what I mean? Stones just gets injured constantly, and that just annoys the shit out of me. But um, <laughs> but like we need we need we need everyone back that can be back. So everyone that's back need, needs to be back. Um, we just need to Pep. I'm sure is ha- giving them the pep talk of their lives uh, right now. That was, that was a pun. Yeah, <laughs> that was an right. But uh, that uh, like that this was just super out of character for City, and like we just need to do better. Like that was just not City. You know what I mean? Like not pressing is not City. You know what I mean? Like that's just like you know where we go hard for 90 minutes, right? You said that this was the best 11 today. Is this that we the, had right now. Okay, was this? Would you use this eleven again against Tottenham? Four, four, two, three, one. Yeah, I could, I could see that, but not two, three, three, four, two, one. Three, not not three, two, Th- four, one. Yeah, three, two, four. Yeah, one. I want to use it like I want to use this. I, I, I could. I mean, like I'm not shitting on a Kanji for being a double pivot, but yeah. like, um, but like a Kanji needs to be on the back line. He, I don't think he can invert like Stones can. Yeah, uh, Rico Lewis would. Do better at inverting than, uh, yeah. than you know what I mean. But we, we obviously were playing Colin Walker, you know what I mean. But yeah. like, um, but not not a Kanji. Kanji can't do that, you know what I mean. Can't Kanji can't do stones like things. Um, so what I would say is like assuming that we get Kovacic and Nunez back, I would say we're gonna probably play some version of a four, two, three, one, uh, Kovacic back, uh, Rodri DM, and then. I would say because of this nightmare performance by Doku, I would, I would start Grealish, um, Alvarez, and S- Silva. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really want to play Foden, though. Yeah, hell yeah. Play yeah. Foden, dude. I would say, how about this? Essential attacking midfield. I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know if, I, how, how, if I'm alone on this, but like, I always think Foden playing essential attacking midfielder in but like not in the four like a four one formation but like three behind the three one you know what mm-hmm, i mean like mm-hmm. and, and, but in front of rodri you know what i mean yes give him all that space because he uses it yes right so like but i mean if coach is coming back i know coach is probably going to play the central attacking role more but like um but like i, I just don't I, photo on the wing doesn't do anything for me you know what i mean yeah and maybe i mean i don't know maybe alvarez gets benched i i was i would say if i was spiteful because of this performance, I would sit Doku and Alvarez and be like, <laughs> I'd be like Grealish and then Foden and then Silva, Kovacic. You know what I mean? That sounds like a little bit tinkering to me. But yeah. Like, we got to starve them. Yeah. Make them want the fucking, make them want the game time. Yeah. Like, cause today was not, man, today just leaves us with a big question mark on our foreheads. Like what the fuck happened today? Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is a second draw in a row. So, you know what I mean? So like, hopefully it's not more indicative of a, of a further slide. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And I can't really say this is a slide. I guess it's a slide for city to draw. Every team in the top five uh-huh. has three wins. And three of those teams have a loss or two, right? Yeah. But the top two have two draws in the last five. Hmm. So don't, I was going to say, don't feel like we're the only team that's. Yeah. Nah, but I mean, we're, we're, uh, we come in high regard, dog. After a season like last After year. a season like last year and last year. this season is like, come on, let's, let's keep the foot on the gas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's keep the foot on the gas, but we'll see. But yeah, against Tottenham, Tom, Tottenham has, damn, dude, those guys look good right now, bro. They look so good right now. And it's like. For them, for them to come to our house and fucking give us another result like this, with the threat of another result like this or worse, it's not good, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? So especially in a tight race, like it's it's shaping it to be a tight race. Uh, the, the one thing though that might work in our favor, it's it it's all dependent on who's still injured for Tottenham, because Madison's injured, Sun's injured, 
Really? Uh, yeah. A, a lot of people are injured on their team. So uh, with I think Madison's the critical injury for them. And Madison's yeah. been the critical component for them. Yeah. So if he's still injured, um, you know, that still is not good for Tottenham. Um, cause I know that they, they've been playing out of character because Madison's injured, but I'm not sure of their status of their, of their injuries right now. Um, but like, we'll see, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we'll, uh, but like, uh, it's dependent on their things. Um, uh, it's always a tight match at home, but we, we usually edge it out. But then, um, uh, but the, the fact still remains is that Spurs away has, has been our, our, you know, our, you know, Achilles heel because like we haven't scored at a point at the new, at the new Spurs stadium. It's been a few seasons now. So it's like, they like the t- Spurs fans like to thumb their, you know, bring that in our face all the time. Like, Oh, you guys haven't scored at a place that, you know, you know, just like, you know, and we know it. <laughs> yeah. We know it too. Yeah. So yeah, that I think is my, 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 would be my preview of, or what the keys to the match, I guess for that game. But do you feel like we're going to win this game? Loading, uh, I'm, loading, no, no, lo- lo- loading. <laughs> clip, clip that. But uh, you know what, dude? I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, do I put this out there? Do I do be real, real? I'm pessimistic. Okay. So you think a tie, huh? No, I think we're gonna lose. <laughs> Make this industry. I haven't predicted a loss in a long hey, time. It's all right. It we is... can be citizens, and we can also be fucking realistic yeah, ass motherfuckers. Well, you know. This is, Tottenham <laughs> this is not the Tottenham. No, podcast. This, is, this is the real, real Man City yeah, yeah, yeah. citizens. Oh, real Look, the real Madrid. I'm with you, but I think a tie. They, they, so Another tie. I don't think, man. If we're gonna perform like this, dude, against Tottenham, fuck no, we're not winning, dude. Yeah. And these or guys, what? these guys want something, you know? These guys want something. Oh, okay. You heard it here first. The particle sun says four one. It goes saying four one. I'm I, putting that bet in, all right? I'm oh. putting that bet in. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we lose two one. Shh. I say it's gonna be a tough ass game. It's gonna be one one again. That's that's likely. That's you know likely. what I mean? But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. We will break the curse and score four. All right, all right. You I, say I, four. I'm trying to think of when I ever predicted a loss. If I ever did predict a loss, I don't think you have. I don't think I ever have. I think I have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a couple of times last We're, season. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But we didn't. Yeah, but we did. Obviously, we did it. But... I, I mean, maybe we're just discouraged. I think this is a very discouraging performance. No. I, I did not like what I saw, and as a result, I'm just like, I'm just like, just. You know I'm what? hoping that we get a, a a nice little win on Tuesday, that'll give us a kick in the ass to actually beat these guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. It could probably be a fucking tough ass game, and we edge out one zero. You yeah. know what I mean? But I am not expecting no high scoring game on this fucking against Tottenham, dude. Yeah. Because they got tools, too, just like us. Yeah. And, no, it's uh, going to be another t- hot, tough, tough match. And the and, and that coach even said it himself. What is he doing? Big Ange. Yeah, what is he doing? He's Big, just copying who? Copying Pep. Exactly. So, come on, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, 4-2. <four> <laughs> All right, 4-2. <four> <laughs> you can see a lot playing Guardiola style ball. But, uh, but, yeah, you know... I'm yeah, I'm not encouraged by this performance and um and, you know the fact that we've already made made out of the Champions League group does add a, a, a little bit of complacency in there maybe and then uh going to play Spurs in the in, in the in the current form that they're in right now, the new mentality, the new thing it's, it's just does not feel well. My intuition's telling me, my intuition's telling me not good things. You you guys want to discuss about the whole scandal this week? Uh, the 115 charges. Yeah, so I was almost going to refrain from talking about that, but uh, I'm trying to too. <laughs> yeah, trying to, uh, I guess it's out there. Make it quick. <laughs> okay, so what do you make of the 115 Premier League charges against Man City for financial fair play violations? How are we not punished yet? And Everton got punished so quick. Yeah, you know what I mean. For like one charge, and we've been holding off for like a year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on one charge, they took a 10 points away from them, dude. Yeah. So it's kind of scary for us, dude. Because a lot of people are saying we're going to get relegated and blah, 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 and all this shit. And even if we do, that sucks for the team that we're, the league that we're going to go to. 
yeah. We're going to destroy them and come back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. But see, though, the thing is, is that like I've I'm preparing for the worst um, expecting that we I'd be surprised if we don't get relegated. Um, you know, and the thing is, though, is that we get relegated and a lot most, if not all Premier League contracts, there's a clause where if you get relegated, that you uh, means you could get released from your contract. So a lot of our if we that were to happen, we could get a lot Clean of our house pick, could a little bit could could leave. You know what I mean? To the Saudi league? <laughs> that's one of the things that I've been hearing City is how like no it's not gonna happen not gonna happen, that's stupid dude um, I mean it's very it could happen because of our owners and shit but I doubt it dude oh I mean it's, it's a super league but fuck that uh, yeah no we, no we're not doing that but uh, uh, you know I, th- I think they. Probably- <laughs> it frustrates well, I Alex. That, I, I know, I just lost something. my thought. They probably would do something to Load. set the example. Loading. Loading. Uh, uh. No, I think I think the thing is, is that one of the things, the reason why I think City is getting off with it is, I mean, like they're paying their lawyer like ten thousand dollars an hour for this thing to like defend oh, to defend this. Shit. They're spending a lot of money, and something tells me though in my intuition that it's they're not going to get relegated but they're going to get slapped with a hefty fine oh yeah hefty dude. hefty fine We're, they're probably going to barca our asses and these ones are going to have to take a cut in their fucking <laughs> yeah like it's going to be a hefty hefty fine and but and like so because like, as much as all these like other top six teams want to uh like see us go down like the premier league needs us you know what i mean like we're yeah. we're a big draw to the premier league like we're on we're on like you know what i mean but, but doesn't that mean we'll get stripped by of the trouble no they they won't they won't do that they, and they don't do that in the uk okay nice. yeah because that will just cause confusion over who went yeah. who won what but like they can hit us with the with points with the fine. Okay. yeah yeah and the thing is though is that if we win the champions league this year but go down to league one we're going to be in league one and still play champions league <laughs> oh my god that's true yeah and the world cup the world cup of clubs <laughs> yeah it's got a world cup and we're we're in the thir- third division of english football. how weird is that yeah oh, like, just to prove a fucking point dude yeah that sucks dude like fuck, yeah but fuck uh, all these teams but, dude. but but like um i was encouraged by what pep was saying in the press conference that's saying oh, no, that if any if anything if, if we go down to league one that will make him want to stay more than if he were to continue having success he's gonna club. smash yeah he's gonna smash yeah and then um we've been to league one as a club in the late 90s you know we were relegated in the late 90s um as a club we'll go back we'll do it again come back even stronger you know yeah. what i mean so this you know it, whatever happens i'll be there you know what i mean um but like you know, they can like penalize us with do it, with do whatever. But they can't take away the memories that we've made along the way, mm-hmm. and the, the fact that like this, that the last, that this club has given me the best sporting moments of my lifetime in the last thirteen years. You know what I mean? Like just seeing what they've done and the pl- the memories that I've made and the people that I've met along the way. They can't take away that the trouble. They they won't shit the title. So it's no, it's not. It's not like the NCAA. You know what I mean? They're not gonna like. You know what's yeah. one scenario? I'm not gonna USC us or whatever. Oh, yeah. a, a scenario I do see happening <laughs> since uh, Paul and Pete Carroll. Since uh, Real Real Madrid wants to activate uh, early Holland's buyout clause, if we get relegated. I think early in Holland will leave. Oh yeah, I was, I was. In yeah, room. he will. Yeah, he's gonna be like, "Fuck this." He'll go to Real Madrid. I gave you what you guys wanted, and I'm not gonna do this. I'm not going to no shitty ass league. Farm, like you know, and he'll and, and he'll leave. And <laughs> I just came out of one. Yeah. He'll, and he'll definitely go to Real Madrid because of that. Oh yeah, but we'll see, dude. Damn, we have a lot to unfold here. Yeah. So that's about as brief as I can keep it. Yeah. So, and I think I'll just leave it there. So, um, this is also a good point to follow us across all social media platforms yes, at sir. Hollywood Kipax, K I P P A X, across all social media platforms IG, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and X. And footballersonly.com. Football. <laughs> like farmers only i don't know i was trying to go for a joke there sure bro. Sure, sure, bro. yeah shoot and a miss all right just like uh this i is... feel like alvarez now yeah <laughs> the flex 
inflated ball going No, you're a one-trick <laughs> pony, dude. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, like, like, <laughs> I'm that's, so Doku that, right now. So, that's, that's very Doku of you right now. I'm just going to pep. I'm going to pep crouch right now. And there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. That is a thumbnail for, a thumbnail for today. Um, but, like, you know, I always enjoy getting to do these things in person with you guys. Yes, sir. Um, we leveled up with the podcast today with do, finally getting OBS and doing the, the platform. There were some technical things that I was mentioning about, but those things we'll have to just learn along the way. And um, But it, it, I was getting the set up for the podcast, and I created those those uh, templates on myself. Yep. And, um, you know, and just to, to keep leveling up. We are, like, two followers away from 500 followers. Awesome. So do you give us a follow on IG. I remember when you told us that we had 60 followers, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. I remember when we had awesome. 300 followers. <laughs> Big milestones. Yeah. And then 500 followers. Uh, then now we're going to have 500 followers. And um, just like, you know, a video con- looking to churn out way more video content. Yes. You know, that, and we are. And yeah, we are. And we are. Yeah. So we're moving along. And um, yeah, it's always, it's always, it's always a good time. We, um, you guys, sounds like you guys will be doing something for this, the city Tottenham game. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll be, um, San Fran. I mean, San Fran. And then, um, I'm just like trying to think. Is this the earliest game that we'll, we'll do? Yeah. This is the earliest game we've got together for. No, no, no for sure. But, uh, for the foreseeable future? Uh, we don't have another 430 game till. Uh, it's the spring. Oh. So we're I good. Think, I think we have a 430 matchup in April against Brighton. Don't worry. You'll get your Starbucks. You'll get your Starbucks. Your Starbies. Your Starbies. I was dying without it today. Um, so just kind of giving you guys a heads up for what's happening in December. Uh, we December third, Sunday, December third, we play Tottenham. Midweek, we play Aston Villa. Is that a uh, league? Game? It's Premier League, so we it's a mid midweek game. Uh, that Saturday, we play Luton Town. Uh, at, at Luton, and then. Uh, we play our, I think our last Champions League game, then Crystal Palace on the 16th, and the Club World Cup starts on the 19th, and that is the semifinal. So I'm not of sure December. That, of December, yeah. So, nice. Uh, that's to be determined. That one's gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, our Brentford match was postponed. Everton is two days after um, uh, Christmas, and then uh, the day before New Year's is man uh, for Sheffield. And so, yeah, so that's what our December is shaping up to, to be. Nice. So um, quite a few games going on. And then in the new year, we'll, January is always a congested month for competitions. Like, yeah. We'll have the FA Cup. We're out of the Carabao Cup, I believe. Yes. If I can remember. We lost to Newcastle, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a very congested in, in the month of January. So, um, yeah, we're heading into these winter months and um, – we just got to rebound, get healthy, rebound, and then, uh, f- you know, just fi- get back to what we are, what we do. Get Pep guys. standing up again. Get Pep, yeah, not frustrated. <laughs> Smiling <laughs> Pep is what I want to see on the bench. Report on KDB? Uh, KDB will not be, injury report, KDB uh, will not be seen till the next year. Yeah, he's expected not to return till the next year. Yeah. Till, so. till the, yeah. And then that's when uh, the Eagles will fly, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking, dude, because that's, that's one spark of the team that we need back. Yeah. yeah. All right? I mean, I'm all out of uh, I'm so all points, I. So, uh, and I'm tired. So um, this has been both good and bad, you know, And uh, but I'll take the good with the bad, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we get a more enjoyable um, performance next time. <laughs> um, but... This has been an episode of the Hollywood Kitbacks Podcast. Yes, I'm your sir. co-host, Alex Miller. Joining with me, as always, is Will Lopez. Uh-huh. Sometimes if kiss. The prodigal son. For this episode, <laughs> this episode, he is here and is doing this producer's work in the producer's chair. So yes, we do sir. appreciate him being behind the camera. No wrestlers today. Uh-huh. No, he's not going to go see any wrestler at the wrestling store around the corner. So, um, all right. All right but this, has been, this has been an episode of the Hollywood Kitbacks. Come, Come on, on, City. Come on, on City. Come you on. Know. You know. No, it's gonna be biblical, man. It was kind of biblical, kind of biblical, <laughs> sort of biblical, not really biblical. See you next week. All right, cheers.